Okay, so now what we're doing is we are going to um, get this uh, output that we saw and document it in our notes so that uh, we, we don't get lost in here. And then I'll go back over here and then I'll just I'll just put this over here so that um, so that we have this okay see what it says it says that these are the state variables and these are the opposites that we define but how do this relate to the matrices that's that's the the question but that we have right now, not only to the matrices, but to the Simulink block diagram that we see in there. So what I'm going to do is I'll take the A matrix and then I'm going to cut it from here and then I will paste it in my notes right there. Paste and then I also need the B. I also need the B matrix that is uh, over here and then this is new there we go let's put it again to the uh, nodes and and what it, what's going to happen now is that in doing this we are able to write the equations in the matrix form that we have but my objective here is to tie any loose ends to make sure that you understand exactly what this means. So in, in here you see um, these are the state variables. It means that on the left hand side we will have the derivative vector <coughs> like this. And maybe good if we switch colors in here. This is going to be, the first one is D, Q7, DT, right? The second one is D, P sub 6, DT. And the other one is D, P sub 7, DT. Like that. This is equal to, and there you have. This is the matrix like that. And in here, what you have is like this Q7 you have P sub 6 shouldn't that last one be P2 no. and you have P sub 2 oh sorry this is P sub 2 <coughs> and then plus and then you have this matrix B and then this S S E one. This form that you have is this X dot is equal to the matrix A times the vector X <coughs> plus the matrix B times the vector U. Yeah, that's what you have. And so what I'm trying to do right now is for you to to relate the output that you see in MATLAB to those uh, state variables and to the matrices that we have. But also we have uh, on the on the MATLAB output we have we have the others. You know we have the C and D, and so we're going to do the same thing with that. We're gonna go and and capture this matrix in here. You see it has only two rows, which is right. And in here we are, we're gonna say, okay, uh, paste this. What did I just do? Mm. And then in here we're gonna say paste and there is the C matrix and then we also need the D don't we see there is the D matrix and let's cut that too and put it in our notes like that and then go over here 
See, this completes the second part of the state space form because now what you have on the left hand side remember what the computer is telling you what are your outputs in here e sub 7 and f sub 2 it says so this one right here you can write this like this is e sub 7 and then f sub 2 and these are equals to this matrix this is the c times the state variable vector which is q sub 7 uh, p sub uh, 6 and p sub two, uh, 2 right plus you can see this is the your d matrix times sc1 okay so what you what you have done right now is complete the second part of the y is equal to the matrix c times the state vector x plus this matrix d times the input vector of the you know the input vectors in there so that 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 is the state space representation. But if we go back to the Simulink um, um, block that that it gave us, you see all this A, B, and C and D are initialized. In fact, what I would suggest is we give it a little test. In here, for example, you. Well, no, you are seeing right here A, B, and C, and D. So that means if you double click in here, this A, B, C, and D are initialized. Can, uh, Simulink already knows the values. The only thing is we need to adjust this to the system. How many inputs do we have in our example? One, right? But here there is two, so we we need to change this a little so here we go instead of two put one and in in the other one in this there's two in here two outputs we have here I'm gonna say copy and then maybe paste uh, and then I have another scope in here because it's got two outputs make sure it has the correct number of inputs and outputs as the matrix has and so you need to we need to get the um, results from this and you this is the other one so you have both of those scopes in here oops um, Ah. we need the MATLAB window on. Uh -huh. here we go and then we need to run this so if you run this we, sh we should obtain the answer see and here you go and run Okay, so just to make sure, this the first output was um, E sub 7 and this is F sub 2. <coughs> so I click on run and I should see something. In fact, I do. There it is, the, the first response and this is the other one for the second this is the current and the other one is the <coughs> voltage in there this is the voltage E sub 7 and this is the current F sub 2 yes uh, I, I got lost in so before when you brought up this, the, um, the simile did you put some inputs in order for you to get both graphs I did this is the input right here that one. 
Oh, okay, you put one? Yeah, it's the step input. So I have this input and then I have these two outputs. Oh, okay. But the entire block diagram and the entire system is contained in this block. Why? Because the A, B, and C, and the D matrices are all defined there. So, so the entire system, the entire model is in that block, all the equations for the differential equations of the system, as well as the output equations are in that block. And you do not need to, uh, if you do it this way, you don't need to do individual block diagrams for each equation. That's what I was trying to tell you. If you do it this way in your lab, you will save a tremendous amount of time. Any questions? That's how you use the cam G and the... Um, Can you show us how to use the transfer function now? Yeah, let's just do one thing at a time. This this one in here, I'm going to uh, copy here and here. And then let's just put it in notes in here. This is your... Uh, <coughs> oh, 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 what happened? Somehow it, it didn't... Uh, I'll just go in here and get this. I like this. This tool is great. Huh? So there it is, your um, model, and then of course you have a, both of those responses in here. Um, here we go. This is the. We can put that on the notes as well back down here and then um, I think we also have the other we have the other plot in here oh, that's that one I think we need this one and so we'll we'll just cut this one as well and do a uh, based on here and then you have the whole thing in our notes now we have so what I'm trying to say to you is that in here when we look at this at this set of notes the state variables that you have that vector is this vector right here and this is the relation between those matrices to the system. But that, that CAMP G has produced this block diagram for simulink, and at the point where you initialize the matrices, you already have the, those into this, in, this uh, block, and then you can do the simulation. Okay. Let's see.